what is my take as to the lockdowns? What is my take of, you know, what's going on at the moment? Um, I've said for the last four years that we are going to see the crash of our uh, financial system as we know it. I uh, actually made very uh, clear and, and bold uh, predictions as to exactly how it would go down. But we're in a depression. Uh, we're in a depression of biblical proportions. Uh, as of the 15th of August uh, 2021, which is only two weeks away, uh, we will be celebrating the 50 years of the current uh, financial system. In 1971, uh, we changed our currency into the petrodollar. I've talked about it beforehand. Our dollar has only been around for 50 years. It's 50 year birthday on the 15th of March, uh, 15th of August this year. So that currency is dying. Uh, we're going with this. As I said, we're going into a uh, digital currency, a central bank digital currency uh, hooked up with a biometric camera. If you go to Woolworths, you go to Coles, you go and do those sort of checkouts, you will now see yourself um, on the screen as you pay for your goods. Right? Go go try it out. Go check out your local Woolworths store. Go and check out all of these companies which are owned um, by certain uh, entities on the stock exchange. Do I think that 5G is an evil weapon and that it's here to kill us and destroy us and uh, cause sickness? No, I'm not one of those guys. Um, do I think that uh, 5G is, is an evil uh, device though? Uh, it, is going to be, it is going to be a part of our life moving forward. Um, the reason being is that biometric cameras are going everywhere. Biometric cameras are going to control our identity and we are entering into a phase of a one world government and a one world digital currency. Um, this will be based on, this will be based on a social credit system and the social credit system will involve your identity connected to your currency. Um, the money that will be created or the currency that will be created will have a deadline to use. Um, if the system, if you don't abide by the system, it's self-governing um, from the rules of the top, of course. Um, if you don't abide by this system, they will simply remove your credits and delete your money and charge you a bill, just like in China. If you don't believe what I'm talking about, go and research the social credit system. Uh, it's already been rolled out in China. You could walk across the road to a jaywalk, and by the time you get to the other side, um, there's a sign up everywhere naming and shaming you for 15 minutes and it also goes on to remove some money for the fine out of your bank account. Uh, look at the world today, look at the system that they're trying to condition us to. They talk about it being the new normal. <laughs> this is the new normal, folks. So, uh, you know, the, the world may be, you know, a screwed up place, but but yours doesn't need to be. And it's important to, you know, ascertain what's going on out there research, ask questions, um, and consider, you know, how am I being played? You know, I question everything. Uh, you don't believe anything anyone says. Don't believe what I'm saying to you, but question it, right? Like question and look at the look at the agenda that's playing out at the moment and go, does this feel right? Does this sit right? Where is the why are we locking down Australia? Right? Sure there might be a sickness. I'm not saying there's not a sickness. I'm not saying there is a sickness. I'm just saying we're being played with a scam here. We have a country which has had, I don't know what the exact numbers are, maybe like a thousand or a couple of thousand people um, get sick over the year and uh, they've been tested, they've got an illness. There might be, you know, one, two, three, four, five. I don't know. We, I don't know. I don't follow this stuff, right? I don't follow the, the daily count and I'm not brainwashing myself with the media. But let's say there's a half dozen. Let's say there's a hundred people that died from an illness. We've closed down an economy, we've closed down the country, we've locked people up in the homes, we've taken away all their rights or their personal liberty and freedom away from them. Do we not have one or do we not have a half or two thirds of our country in lockdown at the moment? You're not starting to question this rhetoric that's going on. I see the lies, I see the media manipulating things, I see them out there, you know, controlling the lives of the thought process, and this is World War Three. We're in World War Three, folks, whether you like it or not. Thank you.